because a lot of this stuff was just all private, personal things that I never really, you know, just meant for me or just to kind of explore other ideas. So, yeah, it's quite, it's like opening up somebody's closet. I feel like, you know, it's a bit uh, strange, but also it's quite an honor. So, and I think the curators did a really great job. So, I'm, you know, I'm happy about it. I mean, I keep on telling you, most people are dead when they get on those, you know, and thankfully he isn't, you know, so. Before it was neatly packaged at MoMA, it was in boxes and drawers and all over the place, so it was not as organized as it was made out to be, really. <laughs> surprising because he's so modest he's very um it's not that he's secretive but he's incredibly modest about his um art or what he calls are just doodles so so most of i'd say 90 percent of this exhibition i haven't even i wasn't aware about until i've seen it up on the walls because um he doesn't exhibit himself you know he doesn't show off he doesn't he doesn't even show people it's very private it's very unlike him to have an exhibition because he is such a private man He's not a man, he's a man of few words, a lot of it's intuition, you know. I said, like, at the beginning, when I first met him, which was way before we actually became a couple, he didn't actually speak much. I said there was, should have been a, a home or an orphanage for the abandoned sentences of Tim Burton, because he really didn't speak, and now he's speaking more, you know, in the eight years, you know, on, and now, but it, mostly it's visual, he expresses himself through pictures, you know, and it's a compulsion, he has to. And there's never a day without him having like an ink stain in his, you know, top left hand breast pocket and lots of pens. And you know, he needs some surface. If there isn't going to be a notepad, he will do it on, you know, the, on the menu thing or the restaurant. Or it's just a compulsion. He has to do it.